Hello, and welcome to the Windy Synth. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the EWI 5000. I have an EWI 5000 here. You see that? Um, let's see. Here. EWI 5000, um, which I purchased after I had um, my EWI 4000 had broken, and so I purchased the EWI 5000, and um, I wish I would have kept the EV4000 because I like the sounds better. So I ended up getting an EV4000, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, so I wanted to figure out, is, is there a way to make the EV5000 sounds sound like it, sound like the 4000? And, um, and while well, you can edit them, the sound somewhat, um, they're sampled sounds and it left me wanting in that regard. So <clears throat> the EV4000, you know, is an analog modeling synth I think they call it um, but anyway it's, it models the you know it has a triangle wave and a square wave and etc you know and you can it has some really nice filters in it so what I wanted to do was to be able to uh, build a synthesizer that I could make sound like the EWI 4000 and so what I did was I built this little <laughs> you see it here I built this board um, out of a teensy um, 4.1 and um, and I can attach it to the uh, EV5000. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, so I got the board on there. Let's see if you can see it. And um, it just, I just Velcroed it on here sort of just a prototype but um and it has a i have a, a little knob you can turn to uh and there's a screen you can adjust the patch i'm on and the volume etc um <clears throat> and i got a, a lithium battery attached to that powers it um and then i've got the usb from the iwi over to the board um which makes them you know, gives it the MIDI, and then I got the audio out. So you get some cool sounds. Uh, let's try another couple patches here. So the synthesizer here is um, compatible with the editor that goes with the EWI 4000. So I'll show you that. the EWI 4000 editor. Okay, so now I've got it wired up with the USB connector here. Uh, let's see if I can come from here. Yeah, here. It's this cable here. Um, when I did that, I had to put this uh, audio isolator in because when you have the USB and the audio connected at the same time, it causes a little extra noise. Not that bad, but normally not connected to the USB, uh, that USB when you're going to be playing, so it's not a problem. But now we go over to the MIDI settings, make sure I'm connected to one. I'm calling this synthesizer Windy One. <laughs> and I got 
I set the MIDI up right to work this machine. And then there's a, another setting in here. You have to get. OK. All right, I should be able to select it. So I can take some one of these. Let's pick a let's start with a know, some other. And you can go uh, to the editor here and normally and just and fix everything. So if I wanted to um, start with just a you know, triangle wave, and I only wanted the one oscillator here, so that one's up, this one's down, and then I want the low pass filter. Turn the, I could change the Q up here, and bring this down. It's got all of the normal controls that you would control with the e, the 4000, but uh, you know, I've got a hook to the 5000. <laughs> um, so I can, um, you know, you can you can set the I don't know the LFO um, depth here uh, for the filter. some different effects like this and I won't bore you with all that but um, then you can uh, add the noise in if you want which which the 5000 doesn't have these controls you wanted to um, let's turn off the noise filter so you can see here with the noise does anyway so I have uh, some other presets I've already um, done some of this with I made this trumpet rasp which is sort of just a saw wave with the with that raspy uh, filter modulation on the top when you blow harder it's a little it's kind of subtle up the top there kind of adds a little bit something to it Just start to vibrate there a little bit. It's nice. Um, so yeah, this makes this uh, synthesizer is controllable by the just like the 4000, and um, you can load up any of the sounds you want from the 4000. And I tried to make it match pretty close to the 4000. I you know there's a lot of parameters in there, and I can go over this in another video if you like. But um, there's a lot of parameters to adjust in here on the presets. Um, and to, to match what each one of them do and the curves and everything because the manual shows you a little bit of how they interact but it doesn't really give you the information so I had to reverse engineer <laughs> pretty much every one of these controls um, the only one I haven't uh, finished yet was is the format filter I don't have that built in here yet so it doesn't switch anything in here but um, the rest of it's working pretty closely to what the uh, 4000 does so anyway, I'll, I'll be uh, posting the uh, source code for the TNC um, 4.1, the TNC 4.1 I use. I'll, I'll be posting it online eventually. <laughs> I don't have that posted yet, but I'm going to clean it up a little bit, and then we'll get it posted. So um, 
hope you like that. And if, if you want to uh, see any more videos like this, I'll, I'll go into further detail explaining it. Uh, if you like, uh, just uh, smash the like and subscribe. Thanks.